this lot is um, dedicated to the people, um, the people in the community. It's a preventative measure. It's a solution. Um, so a lot of times kids around the community have parks to go to and they have community centers or libraries and we just feel like there's never enough. Um, so why not build another preventative measure to have a place, a safe place for the community to go to? Um, you know, instead of going to the corner and figuring out what am I going to do with my time, you know, I could learn how to sell drugs, I could, you know, waste my time. Instead, I have a place to go, a place to dedicate my energy to and express myself and learn new things. And what is this community? Where are we at? We're in Barrio Logan right now. We're on National, um, but we're between National and Logan Avenue. And what kind of programs do you intend to do here at the lot? Yeah, so this lot is going to be multifunctional for the community. We're going to be able to host um, community gatherings, informational panels, um, free yoga for the community, uh, literacy education and reading. Um, we're going to be able to support other community members who maybe have small businesses starting up. We're going to provide a space for the community to be able to be and express and, and learn and just a healthy environment. What support are you getting from, let's say, the city of San Diego? Um, so... I guess the support to us has been, you know, this is us capitalizing on something where those in power had the opportunity to use, uh, but they chose not to. And so, I guess us as regular people, which makes this so much more powerful, uh, capital taking the opportunity to, to, because what we see here in Barrio Logan is gentrification. Uh, we see people leaving the neighborhood. We see construction, uh, but we don't see construction that's promoting uh, positive social change, right? The right infrastructures. Uh, so we're not really, uh, you know, um, like we said, council members have actually uh, uh, found out what we're actually doing. Uh, some of them have I've had the opportunity to, to use the lot uh, due to the owner, you know, wanting to give them uh, the land. Uh, but I guess, you know, they kind of chose not to uh, jump on it right away. Uh, but we chose to jump on it right away. And here we are on day uh, seven. Yeah. And uh, we transformed this lot from brush this high until now it's clear. And, and so, I mean, if you would have saw it <laughs> a couple of days ago, it's, you know, it's such a transformation. So the support... Uh, could be uh, some, I mean, to us, we don't need the support. Like what makes this more powerful is that this is something constructed and built by the people and uh, that makes us feel good inside. And Mark, uh, we were also with Mark Bartlett. You talked about gentrification. Can you explain that to people who have no idea what that is? Yeah, so I mean gentrification in a way where uh, they, would, they would say it as revitalization. That's what they would say. This is revitalization. This is not gentrification. Uh, so usually, you know, uh, community, uh, we saw this in North Park. We saw this in Golden Hills and South Park where uh, it was kind of quiet in a way uh, where, you know, people, uh, uh, real estate uh, uh, was going up, right? Home prices were going up. Rent was going up. And those who were living in these neighborhoods could longer afford, so they had to either sell or they had to move. Uh, and this neighborhood here is there's so much uh, rich, there's rich tradition uh, that dates back for, for, for decades. Uh, and uh, I think, you know, with new businesses coming in, uh, and you can even see the population drastically change. You know, this used to be a neighborhood with browns, filled with browns, and now you see whites. You know, and, and I'm not saying that's uh, it's not a bad thing. You know, I love to see diversity, uh, but at the same time, I like to see the people who were here who brought up this community remain in the community. And it's kind of sad how, uh, you know, that's why this lot is in a way where we're wanting to give back to the people. We're not constructing, you know, some huge uh, business, you know, uh, or some huge infrastructure. You know, it's it's a positive uh, infrastructure in a way to give back to these kids that live right behind here who don't have a park. Uh, who don't have an outlet to go to um so you know um but yeah i mean gentr i mean this neighborhood uh for for decades you know you see the shipyards nasco uh you, the construction of the coronado bridge the freeway here uh it's been there's so much trauma in this neighborhood they've been dealing with for decades and people have been slowly uh moving out you know the separation of barrio logan and logan heights itself uh, uh and people really don't really understand that and now we see it today with possibly the construction of the 
the new stadium uh, for the Chargers. Uh, and now these new businesses, these new condos, uh, uh, you know, some of them are affordable uh, housing, uh, but the majority of them, they're, I mean, they're twelve, fifteen hundred, you know, dollars where <clears throat> people can no longer afford that. Um, and there's a difference between affordable housing and subsidized and the way people are legally getting away with building uh, massive amounts of apartments in Barrio Logan and various areas of the community is when they put their bid in, they say it'll be affordable housing or subsidized. Well, there's a difference between them. You know, um, one of them only gives you about 10 units out of the 100 uh, that's low income or subsidized. Um, so it's not really truly serving the community. If anything, it's a disservice to the community and um and it's it's back to the root of why we're here and it's 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 uh government taking uh profits over people and we're here to reverse that and to create a solution um and so that's what we're doing here is we're creating a solution that only um is impactful on the emotional state and the mental state of the community but it's also going to be uh helping the economical aspect of it as far as economical development um, we will be uh providing a, a place for people to be able to start uh, whatever they want to start here as well. So this is the people's lot. So you're also thinking of doing micro loans, things like that? Um, not necessarily micro loans, but giving people the opportunity to have a space to, to create, to sell, to celebrate, um, you know, anything like that. So where traditionally, if you go outside of Barrio, you know, even something as simple as a quinceañera, a lot of people are paying thousands upon thousands of dollars to rent a room to, to host these things in. That's something we can do here in our own community at, at little to no price. So that's a small example of how we're um, giving back to the community and not trying to take from the community. The only thing we want from the community are their hands and their energy to come help us build this park.